This is the pilot episode, y'all. Tap in. Take this walk with me. Once again, Laurence from Boykin with Boykin HVAC. I'm here doing this pilot episode. New podcast on the channel. Want to thank y'all for tuning in. Let's jump right into it. Let's talk HVAC. So today, I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, R22 drop-in replacements. So I was talking to one of my guys recently in the field, and I was asking him about a refrigerant that he likes to use for the R22 replacement. Now, I'm used to not really replacing it with a drop-in refrigerant because I got plenty of R22. I just run it up. But he seems to like the R422B. So I wanted to just chop it up a little bit about that and have y'all in the comment section let me know exactly what it is y'all think about the R422B. So to me, it it sounds like it's amazing. I mean, he's saying that these things pretty much, uh, this drop-in pretty much mimic pressures of R22 where the back pressure looks very similar along with the head pressure. Now, I know right now, R22 is about the price of gold. (laughs) So to come up to a client and tell them that they need 10 pounds or even five pounds of R22, that's a tough pill to swallow for most people when you're charging whatever it is you're charging for the R22. So with these drop-in refrigerants, oftentimes from the way my guy says it, you know, it's better to just pull out whatever they have in there, um, recover whatever R22 that they have in there. And if you don't have any leaks, then just go ahead and drop this this drop-in refrigerant in the R422B. So for me, you know, everybody want to get a topped off pulse <laughs> with R22, but it costs money. Nobody really want to do a leak check because they know it costs money. So it was like, all right, just add an extra pound or two. And that's it. They just want to write it off. But according to EPA, we only could do but so much of that based on the percentage that is being lost in the system. So to know that you can actually do a leak check and repair and possibly just replace the R22 with this new dropper refrigerant, that's actually something easy to sell if you ask me. So with that being said, I think it is uh, worth taking a look into. I'm not really a fan of drop-in refrigerants. Uh, I know they had some things before. Like right now, I like to install the dry condensers or the nitrogen charge condensers with the the 407C if I ever had to replace a condenser that has a leak in it. Um, Typically, you don't have to change out the THV with that. If, they, if there's a fixed or fixed in the air handler, most times they say to take that out and put a TXV in there. But you could put an R22 or 407C TXV in there without any problem to meter the refrigerant going into the evaporator. Still, that's a bigger job than just to do a, a recovery or reclaim of a little bit of R22 and just go ahead and replace it with the 422B. Now, another refrigerant that uh, that I seen recently when I was at the supply house was the RS44. And according to the guys at the counter, they're saying that this is actually better than the 422B. So, again, on both occasions, I don't have any experience when it comes to replacing the R22 with any of these refrigerants. But according to my research, or how my son would say it, my estimations and calculations... These refrigerants are actually pretty damn good. So I always talk with my contractors and other guys in the field when they ask me about the R22 and what I think. You know, I I usually push them towards just go ahead and replacing it and putting a new condenser in there with the 407C. So long as they don't see any leaks in the line set or the or the evaporator. But with these new drop-ins, I actually been telling them more about the drop-ins. And ironically, I haven't even used any of myself. So maybe coming up into this next season, I'll go ahead and try to try to tap into these drop in refrigerants and see exactly what it is they're hitting for. But I'm, I'm always curious to know what other people in the field thinks. So I just wanted to touch bases with you guys really quickly and uh, get this podcast podcasting and see exactly what's going on out there in the field. 
this is just a pilot episode, just touching touching bases with the community out there in HVAC, just to get some feedback and see what, what we got going on and uh, what the people think. So, again, Laurence and Boykin, Boykin HVAC, let's talk HVAC.